All right, so continuing on, this is Psalm 64, and um, one, a Psalm of David, hear my voice, O power, and my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of, the, of iniquity. Yeah, who are those workers of iniquity, and who's that secret counsel of the wicked? That's Esau, the so-called white man. He's the one that's, um, you know, doing certain things through the black markets, these different dark markets. Especially these politicians. That's why they had this big thing with Pizzagate. You know, where the politicians that you know and love, your mayors, you know, your senators, you know, individuals of the house, you know, your speakers, the ones that's on the podium, you know, the eloquent uh, individuals, they might be on TED Talks and things of that nature. Meanwhile, they're uh, trafficking, you know, slaves, children, drugs, women, all throughout the uh, planet Earth, man, you know, and they'll never confess their sins if they get caught. If they get caught up on allegations, they they could pay for the finest warriors, you know, and and they could get acquitted, you know, or they could dissolve their um, companies when they they have lawsuits deemed against them, such as this Boy Scout lawsuit, and they could rearrange and reestablish themselves, man. So that's the secret counsel of the wicked, man. It's not talking about spiritual demon satan and uh you know his left hand spirits you know in hell talking shit against the most high man you know you got to get real you got to context contextualize these scriptures all right put them in proper context from the insurrection of the workers of, the, of iniquity yeah the word insurrection of those that rise up esau rose up from the caves and rose up from that lower state and when he came into rulership he pushed nothing but wickedness and Satanism throughout the planet Earth. You know, that's why one big thing that Esau is uh, big with, too, is a child sacrifice. Not only do they traffic these children and molest them when they get to a certain age, some of them be extremely young and they'll drug them up. And then they'll eventually sacrifice them, man. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Right. And who are the perfect? The Israelites. And they shoot at us through false narratives, through legislation, through this system on the whole. They have the um, the power to penetrate us in our different uh, communities. You know, they put us in these different areas and they put a stigma on us as being the worst thing, you know, on the planet Earth. And that gives them... Uh, leisure and leeway to justify their actions so everybody in the, you know on the planet earth looks at this bad as truly white you know they look at him as the white man the man of purity a man of innocence meanwhile they're doing the the blackest and the most horrific things and the scriptures even speak about in ephesians and i'm not mistaken in the fifth chapter it's a shame that the things that they do in secret so it says they encourage themselves in in an evil matter, they commune of laying snares privately, privily. With those snares represents those traps. You know, they, they lay those traps uh, privately and they, they lay, lay traps for people to get caught up in them. But see, the individual that creates and, and sets the traps, he'll never fall into his own traps. You know, like you have these different court systems and they'll have these different judges that are Judge Jake. But the judges do a lot of wickedness them, them themselves, man. But will judges confess their faults and they'll actually put themselves in prison? Hell no. You know, because it's a system that we're fighting against. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, they say who shall see them. They search out iniquity. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Right. And this is the time where all the these individuals that see in the wickedness of Ephesus, they don't want to get caught up in the judgment. They see that they see that this white man is a devil. All right. You know, you have even other Edomites because you have lesser luminaries. All right. It's levels to these different luminaries and it's level to these different Freemasons. And, and wicked devils 
and you have these lower tier Edomites exposing these top tier Edomites. All right, because they're, they're even doing certain things that's out of pocket to even some of these other little little devils, man. All right, but this is the time of exposing this white man before judgment. All right, just like um, in court, you know, you will have the judge that expose all the, um, you know, the mischief and the havoc that, you know, individual has done before they actually, you know, drop the gavel and send him for judgment. Well, this is the time now. We're, we're exposing this man on all levels. Hundreds of years, centuries of wickedness this man has, you know, push throughout the planet earth and have been acquitted on him and his generations but now you know this is the time of judgment man all right isaiah 47 and 1 come down and sit in the dust O virgin daughter of babylon sit on the ground there is no throne O daughter of the chaldeans for thou shalt no be no more be called tender and delicate take the millstone and grind mill uncover thy locks make bare the leg uncover the thigh pass over the rivers Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Right. So the Lord is coming down upon this man to judge him. All right? Because of all his wickedness. Back in the uh, times of ba uh, Babylon, you had the Chaldeans, which was the chief house. And they was known to uh, push out a lot of witchcraft. And they were big on Satanism, sacrificing. You know, because what? They worship foreign gods. And with those gods, you have to give sacrifices. They don't want the offerings that the Lord, you know, desires. They want actual human flesh. And there's times uh, throughout the year you actually have satanic calendars that show actually what days people do the most sacrifices, man. And that's a fact. You can look that up on, um, you know, you can look that you know, look up the calendar online. And there, you know, like I said, a lot of people will, you know, hear these things and say that's preposterous. Not knowing the truth, th things that go on around the world. And there's usually a lot of niggas that doubt these things. You know, Jake can't even get out their local goddamn city, can't even get out their neighborhood. But they're trying to tell you what goes on on the worldwide metrics, man. All right. So it says, as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. Right. And that's definitely America. You know, this now is the, the Lady of Kingdoms. America is what known as the hoarded sit of uh, upon the beast, you know, and also sit of upon many waters, which the waters represents people's nations and tongues. And it represents rulership because Esau has dominance over the kingdoms and he pushes out all the wickedness that he wants. All right, you know, and it's scripture speak about through that traffic, you know, because with the wickedness and all the evil that he does, he has clearance. He gives himself clearance to do everything that he desires, you know, at, at the price of nothing, you know. But now all the wickedness that he's ha has been perpetuating throughout the face of the earth, you know, he's uh, being brought to judgment. And he doesn't want to be judged, all right? That's why they're trying to prolong time. That's why they're going to the left hand demons and the left hand uh, spirits, you know, and they're trying to, um, you know, basically find a way to not to escape judgment. Because he saw as the escape artist, man. You know, you'll see David Blaine, which I think I heard something that he's actually finna come back out of nowhere. But David Blaine, these individuals, Chris Angels, they'll be, they'll have a cinder block attached to the ankle and dropped in the middle of the damn ocean <laughs> or middle of a tank they'll have uh you know uh the you know the arms tied behind their back they'll have the thickest chains wrapped around their their uh, legs and you know around their their arms and you know they'll they'll find a way to escape why because they're escape artists they master the art of escaping throughout all situations all right and everybody doesn't have that that technique and that ability, man. All right, you, you you do that to a Jake, he done, man. Because what we're not trained in that facility. Esau, he has trained himself to escape out of everything. Remember that's you know of course, he's that he's that old serpent of devil. Snakes are great at 
maneuvering and escaping throughout situations, you know. And Esau's been escaping for judgment for hundreds of years, you know. Even in the scriptures, uh, Haman, or I say Agag, Agag the Amalekite, he was supposed to be judged, all right. But he got away. It was a lot of times where certain Edomites, they had to, uh, you know, they, they basically got away. But this is the time where he's not getting away. And that's why the scriptures speak about that. The house of Amalek is going to be destroyed, man. You know, and we would have war with Amalek forever and ever. And let's, let's not talk about those Jews, all right, over there in the land of Israel. But they'll circumcise children and put uh, their mouths on the, on the rods of little boys. You know, that's a part of their circumcision uh, ritual. They'll suck the blood throughout their mouths. I mean, excuse me, throughout the uh, penis of the children after circumcision, which that's not a biblical custom. They worship and they follow the Babylonian Talmud and they'll suck the blood. And it's been all kind of cases which you can look up uh, of um, children with uh, sexual transmitted disease, herpes and things of that nature from all the, uh, the, the uh, Jewish priests sucking them off. And there's also a lot of scandals over there in the Roman Catholic Church. There's more scandals in the Roman Catholic Church than than, than them. Um, you know, Boy Scouts, you know, and all, a lot of these organizations put together, man. You know, all the different children that they baptize and, and, you know, they have these private sessions with. A lot of them, they sexually abuse, man. So sexual abuse to children is, is all over the world. It is, and it's mainly through these Edomite empires, man. They love children, all right? They love the innocent, you know, and a lot of them drink their blood. It was a, a, a scene on uh, The Simpsons where uh, Mr. Burns was speaking about... Um, you know, sacrificing ch children. Well, he basically said how he feels sick, and the only thing that could actually get him, um, you know, alleviated, feeling a lot better, was was the blood of children. All right, and Mr. Burns, you know, when you look him up on Wikipedia, you know, he was at, he actually went to the Skull and Bones Society, man. He went to the Skull and Bones, and he was he's actually a, a you know, graduated from Secret Society, and he's basically one of the uh, elitists. You know, on on the uh, planet, excuse me. Yeah, one of the richest elitists on the planet, and he's also uh, one of the uh, Rothschilds, if I'm not mistaken, on the Rockefellers. All right. So this is Nahum three and one. Woe to the bloody city! It is all full of lies and robbery. They pray the part of not, and that bloody city is America. The, the whole world is full of blood due to the bloodshed that this white man has shed to the children of Israel. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is a none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of a nick of witchcrafts that sell of nations. That's what I'm speaking about: the, the selling of, the, of children, the selling of women. But you have sex and child trafficking, drug trafficking, narcotic, these different narcotic rings. You have the Golden Triangle, if I'm not mistaken, um, o over there around Thailand. And they push out a lot of wickedness, man. These are billion dollar conglomerates. This isn't no little, you know, this isn't, isn't no little, little scandals, man. Little misdemeanors. You know, this is worldwide wickedness. All right. That has to be judged from from the heavens above. Can't be judged in your your, your courts. See, a lot of people would be wanting to try to get the drop on Esau and let him go through the different courts, all right? Or they feel like they got a little bit of, um, you know, you know, Jake basically felt felt better due to the fact that Epstein got locked up. They feel like the system is working. Uh, they do these things and they pawn out one or two individuals so that they could save the whole operation, man. It's bigger than just one individual. It's bigger than 10. It's bigger than 20. It's bigger than 100. This is a worldwide thing, man. And not one, not 10, not indivi 100 individuals can stop it, man. Not 1,000. You need not even 144,000. Not just us alone. It's It got to be the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, you know, that, that's with it. And the Lord is going to use the 144,000 to take it down. All right, but it starts what? right now through the spirit of our mouth you know pushing out this judgment so it says that sell of nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts behold i am against thee saith the lord of hosts and i will discover thy skirts 
upon thy face, and I will show the nations that thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Right. So this place is being showed at for for the um the evil that it is, man. And there's so much things going on. If I scan through it after um this lesson and 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 do my research and go on certain sites, what you're gonna see all kind of new things that's coming out about this white man. All right. So so the job of us through the spirit of Yahweh Shema is the prophesy, man. We don't have to put up the picket fences and try to knock on these different um, pedophiles' doors and find them and uh, put the camera in their face and expose them like that. This word exposes good enough, man. That's why this is known as what? The, the greatest light. This is the, you know, in the midst of darkness, this is the, you know, the best tool that you have to expose wickedness, man. You know, so hopefully, brothers, will edify them and get it. Uh, ended by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shema? How about Shema? How about Shema? The bonus of the apostles and others, great millstone. Shalom, Almighty.